It is another evening at the main stage of the People's Democratic Reform Council, or PDRC, the self-styled movement that has managed to raise hundreds of thousands of people on the streets of Bangkok to topple the government of Thai Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat. It is a government that was elected with a landslide just over two years ago, but the PDRC and its leader Sudeep Thok Zuban scoff at the elections, saying they are full of fraud. In an interview in his bus at the back of the stage, Mr. Suthep outlines a long list of transgressions by Prime Minister Yingluck's older brother, the billionaire Thaksin Shinawat. For the last 12 years, Thai people have built up a smoldering discontentment under this Thaksin regime and until to a, a point now that they have decided to stand up against this regime. The PDRC feels misunderstood, especially by the foreign media. They say Thais have the right to rise against their government and they insist they are not against elections. They just want elections now scheduled for the 2nd of February to be postponed to make time for reforms to be framed by an appointed People's Council. I suppose the question that bothers people, the international community, the media as well, is how is this going to end? How is this going to play out? It's a Thai story. But why Thais should it be decide. blame? Why should the blame be on us? No, 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 blame. Government. I'm not talking about blame. Okay. I'm saying, I'm asking you the question. Oh, yeah, let's please. Okay. How do you see it? But you say the I can answer that. The government. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this has never happened before. Never happened before in the world, never happened before in Thailand. No when any books have But now Thai people have stood up uh, to stand up uh, within the rights that they believe they have as Thai citizens. Millions of baht pour in every day from ordinary people to sustain the movement, Mr. Suthep says. The movement is still demanding that Prime Minister Yingluck, now in a caretaker capacity, should resign and the election should be postponed to make time for real reforms. With the opposition Democrat Party boycotting the election, even as the ruling party gears up for the campaign, with Prime Minister Yingluck touring the party's strongholds in the northeast, Thailand is edging deeper into crisis. For the Straits Times in Bangkok, Nirmal Ghosh.